Well, hello to all and welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is your day of August 24th of 2023 spiritual advice reading. So the uh, 24th is a first quarter moon where we may be running into some obstacles and challenges. It is in Sagittarius, so Spirit's saying it's important at this time to remain optimistic regarding your goals, your missions, your plans for the future. For uh, the 25th through to the 30th, we are going to have a waxing gibbous moon, a time of reflection, okay? So this is kind of a time to go inward, uh, not so much to focus on uh, the approval of people outside of yourself, but to do what you want for yourself, because we'll have a full moon in Pisces, uh, where things are starting to unfold at the very end of August on the 31st. So this is a time in this number eight month of August to trust that knowledge is power, to obtain or build upon your current knowledge and wisdom, and to trust as well that in September, a number nine month, uh, is when the accomplishments are going to uh, develop. Okay, there's going to be a transition, uh, completions to maybe confusion or stagnancy. And then things are going to start to manifest uh, in September going into October. So definitely do what we were sent to this earth to do and focus on uh, your goals, right? Your uh, hobbies, gifts, talents, uh, because, uh, you know, quantum physics represents your thoughts. Your thoughts are the source of your reality. Okay. So focus on positive thoughts and what you are creating in this number seven year of 2023, where your efforts will lead you towards a path of triumph for the long term. Now for uh, the 20, uh, what am I on? 24th of August reading, I've been guided to the Gilded Tarot deck by Chiro Marchetti. So dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless whoever needs to hear this information most with clearly defined messages regarding August 24th. Okay, so the cards are starting to jump all over the place. We had a card that fell. I'm not quite sure which direction it was supposed to go. So I think there's a little bit of confusion about uh, am I with the Three of Cups uh, creating something that I want to celebrate in the future or am I focused on the negative? Okay, so again, it is a great time to focus on what you want to create for the long term, a hobby, gift, talent, skill, a financial path or direction, because there will eventually be uh, positive results for one's efforts, an opportunity to celebrate, a peaceful resolution to one's concerns. Oh my goodness. So the second card in the thoughts position on the 24th of August, we do have... Okay, for some it's going to be on the 24th, for others it may just be a little bit further down the line here. But there's a light at the end of the tunnel in the area of money and or things of the material. So there we have celebration and we have abundance. Like this is someone who forgot, you know, they had so much money that uh, they were traveling and this whole little uh, treasure box of money or coins falls off and we don't even notice it's missing because we're just so focused on the celebration of things uh, the stability that is developing oh my goodness so in relation to another or others on the 24th of august during the first quarter moon we do have a, a realization of a direction of abundance uh, there could be an offer of money regarding a path that is blessed, right? The Ace of Pentacles is a gift from the universe regarding a path that will grow and prosper for the long term. So there could be a lump sum of money, a win in inheritance, or just an offer of abundance that's going to be able to pay for, you know, coverages for the family, uh, celebrations, traditions, just contentment where there used to be worry, okay? In the creative aspects position, yeah, because what you have been creating, what you've been really working towards is finally helping for the Ten of Swords to evaporate. Okay, so the Ten of Swords to me is a, 
a phenomenal energy. It's like there was a path that was long and difficult, or there was a path in the creative aspects position that where you've been really working to create something. And Spirit's saying now those swords of worry and fear and concern and heartache, they are dissipating. And Spirit's sending in this beautiful little angel in the form of this deer saying, hey, it's time to stand up and look at all that you've learned, all that you've created to get to this point. All right, so in the actions position, oh my goodness, so, so the actions that the collective have been putting in uh, are not only bringing a, a long and difficult path to an end, but are bringing this, bringing the collective into the spotlight. Okay, there's going to be a lot of attention and recognition coming towards many of the collective at this time, right? This has been a year of I'm putting my effort into the manifestation of that which uh, represents triumph. And now spirit is saying uh, these things are coming to mind. Step into the spotlight and receive what spirit is trying to bring. Your actions are paying off. All right, so in the emotional aspects position, fantastic. We have the four of wands. So we have a spirit saying there's going to be great emotional fulfillment for some by the end of the day of the 24th of August, where you recognize that your efforts indeed have paid off. Maybe getting together with family and friends and celebrating what is coming to mind here. Celebrating the fact that a long and difficult path has ended and that now you can just let your light shine. Feel like a kid again. So in the subconscious position, this is what's coming to mind. If it doesn't show up on the 24th, it will be very soon for those of you who've been following Spirit's advice. Okay, the Page of Pentacles is good news regarding money. Uh, good news regarding a lump sum of money, a win, an inheritance, or a path that is going to grow and develop for the long term. So day to day, we have soul connections. We have uh, connections whereby Spirit's been talking about this for a while. Spirit is bringing the collective into connection with soulmates whereby uh, everyone can move forward in a more um, emotionally fulfilling uh, direction. So in the inner strengths position, basically spirit saying, you know, we're giving the collective the strength of the six of wands to travel into the direction of success, to receive this attention and recognition, to celebrate that which has unfolded because of a divine connection that feels right an opportunity uh, and good news here in the area of money, an opportunity to celebrate with family and friends. Oh my goodness. So in a three card summary with the same Gilded Tarot deck, we've got the Seven of Cups, the Star card like we saw on the 22nd and 23rd video that was in the Thoughts position, which is now being replaced by the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. So we now have the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Wands, old paths are falling away, whatever weighed heavy upon you, whether it was in the area of a soul connection personally or in the area of business with the Ten of Wands, uh, you're able to now lay those things down. So we have some who've been just hoping, wishing, and praying that your efforts are going to pay off with the Three of Swords. Uh, there was a message of the past to say where Spirit was saying, take a rest, look at how far you've come. Trust that eventually you'll be able to use this final sword to move beyond uh, this, this creativity, this uh, manifestation of your uniqueness, okay? Um, yeah, so... Uh, we have the high priestess here. I almost feel like this has been what's built up to this point, but still may be around the collective. Uh, this is the energy of manifesting from your thoughts, through your actions, things into your physical world. So the ability to kind of observe things, uh, not only on the 24th, but on through to the end of August, uh, not taking um, clear action, uh, just kind of slowly taking one step at a time as you watch things unfold before knowing what action to step to take. So there may be actually a call to travel that comes to mind here because you're stepping into the spotlight. Uh, people are going to see you. 
right, as this beautiful high priestess. I work towards something. I manifested something. It's developing now, and I'm waiting to decipher what action steps to take next. Yes, we do have the emperor. This is Aries-type energy, but this is someone who's in a leadership position, uh, or this is you. This is like, I am creating my empire now. I'm focused on my efforts, my money, my business, my direction, um, and it's not so much an emotional connection. So there's definitely soul connections coming together, I feel, in the area of business and money for sure, right around the 24th of August here, where the collective starts to feel this beautiful Nine of Pentacles energy, stability and security, financial independence. Yes, a shocking realization. We've got... Uh, giving birth to forward movement in a balanced way. I feel like, you know, some are going to have followed Spirit's advice, been working towards the creation of something that uh, is your soul's purpose that comes naturally to you, but put a lot of effort in, and now it's paying off. And other people are going to see the abundance that's coming your way, the attention, the recognition, the celebration, and there is going to be enviousness and jealousy, but that is not your problem. Okay, so we have... <clears throat> a wish coming true and then we still have this knight of swords so what i'm feeling is is like this has been a long path of creativity uh, and i was in this energy of is this ever going to work out for me and now spirit saying yes you can let go of those worries and fears that have kept you up at night take those swords of worry fear concern and heartache uh, get rid of them let the moon shine once again and have hope when it comes to the wishes that are developing in your life right now. Now, I do feel like I just did see the King of Swords and the Nine of Swords. I mean, there could be someone here who is in connection to or is thinking about Air Energy, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Star card is Aquarius Energy. There could have been a difficult connection uh, that someone wanted. Maybe you're in Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, um, and Spirit's just saying you're going to feel extremely intuitive right now because of an offer of excitement that is coming your way some exciting communication is going to help you to rise above the difficulties of the past and to feel very intuitive about what steps to take next yeah so there's an offer of money and abundance um, and then there's a little bit of conflict here with the five of wands you know what action steps do i take do i actually uh, travel into this new direction and spirit saying yeah because your proverbial ship has come in with the three of wands your efforts are paying off you're recognizing what's coming in here and it's helping you to leave troubled waters behind okay abundance and money and success and victory all these things are coming in uh, and in some cases it's going to free the collective from a, a connection uh, that felt like a soul connection but that led towards maybe the creation of some form of pain yeah so there could have been a passionate connection in relation to gemini type energy or just a passionate connection in general um, i do feel like passion is developing things are feeling more exciting and th again with the world energy there's just this whole chapter that's coming full circle to a successful completion whereby the portal of a new beginning is opening up okay somehow i switched these around um yeah, someone may be hoping to develop a future with Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn in hopes that that's going to be successful and abundant and stable and actually that a connection is going to lead you to be a little bit, you know, rich. Uh, there are others who are conflicted about maybe this Leo Energy of the Sun and whether or not uh, that is going to be a successful uh, outcome. But we do have kind words and messages going back and forth and a little bit of conflict regarding communication. So I just feel like there's a little bit of worry because of some form of exciting situation, offer, opportunity that is showing up. There's this realization here that you worked hard to get here. You've outgrown where you've been and now a new doorway is opening with the Seven of Wands. You may not know exactly what to do with this attention and recognition or this need to actually travel forward. But justice is turning in the collective's favor and there is going to be a new beginning in the area, not only for some of love that develops here in a new direction, 
Uh, yeah, there's just a lot of hope that is returning. Yeah, so see, someone was carrying a heavy weight in the area of business, uh, home or family. With the five of uh, pentacles, they were worried that they weren't going to have enough to take care of these things. But now there are two offers, opportunities, or directions that are developing. Again, I feel like there could be some confusion regarding earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and or fire energy, Sag, Aries, or Leo. We have Leo here. I saw Sagittarius energy as I was flipping through the cards earlier. Earlier. But the main message is here is keep on keeping on, right? Certain things are coming to mind. People are wanting to work with you, uh, help you to create a foundation that is stable and secure. So don't give up when you are ready to step in the spotlight here. Uh, it, you know, it may be scary that an opportunity has developed. Uh, and that's maybe why we have the devil energy of fear. So spirit saying, slow down. We're going to give you the hermit energy. Uh, we are going to help to guide you to shine your light on what's developing before you, different uh, locations, people, circumstances, situations. But fear not, spirit has got your back. Look at this. An exciting new direction that you are passionate about uh, is developing as a result of your efforts with the four of wands and the emotional aspects position. And just like the six of wands, spirit saying with the chariot is a major arcana. Spirit is helping the collective now to overcome difficulty and to travel, maybe physically travel, into the direction of success. Some are waiting on someone to respond and you're getting a little bit conflicted and frustrated about the fact that they aren't or maybe aren't in the way that you had desired. Yeah, but I feel like a new offer is coming in from the universe with the Four of Cups, which isn't what I normally get with this card. And it's almost like uh, like a, a new blessing is coming from the universe. Newer, better connections, soul connections that are meant to be in your lifetime at this time that are helping you to go away from some form of difficult experience or journey. Beautiful. So efforts are paying off. Have faith. Keep on keeping on. We've been saying that for a while. Good news is coming that's going to develop in a into a path of great success, a path that is meant to be in relation to another or others. A soul connection is going to free you from difficulty and bring you instead into a direction to celebrate, to travel, to receive a lot of att attention and recognition for your hard work. So I'm going to close with a message from the Guardian Angel deck by Dorian Virtue. All right, closing message, please, regarding the circle spread we have previously discussed for the collective for August 24th of 2023. Six of thought, just like we have in the Six of Wands. And that's why that Six of Wands is really jumping out at me. We have peaceful times are on the horizon. Spirit's giving the collective the strength to trust in that. Trust that the storms are now passing. And that you're going to soon see, if you haven't already, that your destination is now within sight. The stress in your life of the past will begin to fade away allowing for much, much more happier times. It may be necessary to take a journey over water or to a new country. If that's what you are planning, Spirit is guiding you uh, to uh, uh, bring the planning to a successful completion and to uh, eventually know that you'll have what you need to go into a new direction of travel. Okay, so it's a great time for travel. Um, and I feel like this energy is going to continue all through the month of September, maybe even part of October, if that's when you are planning travel. Uh, if Or if you're going into a new direction, the time has finally come. So we have the Three of Abundance, just like we talked about earlier, the Three of Pentacles, your passions, what you are passionate about is leading you towards your divine life 
purpose through a divine connection. Do what you love, have confidence in your talents, and learn everything there is to know about your interests, uh, about those who are connecting with you. It's a great time to take classes, to connect with a mentor, to be a mentor, or to just team up with like-minded people. It's a great time to continue to let that creativity soar. All right, so should these messages have resonated for you in some way and you have further questions about your own personal journey and or maybe you would just like a general reading, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month, or yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below this video along with the beautiful comment section. I am still offering the summer special, which is a 15-minute, one-month reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. So thank you so, so very much for your likes, your shares, and those subscribes. But most importantly, to those of you who have continued to donate to this channel to keep it up and running day to day. Take care and God bless.